Alright guys, uh, I know I was supposed to review something else, but I saw this yesterday and I just had to, had to pick it up and show it to you guys. And it's another cheap knife. And as you can see, this is what I got. This is what it came in. This foil. Nothing else. No box like the first one. Nothing fancy, just a foil. So let's take it out. Not much of an unboxing, but okay. And it looks very, very similar to the first one. And the oh, the mechanism, the mechanism for the opening is pretty smooth, smoother than the first one. Halfway, full way, or full throttle, whatever. I don't know. Uh, yeah, pardon my English. And um. There's this little keychain thing, like the first one, so you can have it as your keychain. And yeah, and it has this weird alligator on it, if you haven't seen it. And then, yeah, there's no name of what company this thing was made in. It doesn't say who produced it, nothing. The only thing that it says is right here in small letters you guys will not be able to see this but it says stainless steel so it's another stainless steel knife so that's good but the thing that pisses me off the most is this metal the handle it feels very very sloppy it's very very uh, sloppily made if I can say like that it, will, it, will, it does literally feel like you could break it with one hand you can just bend it and it will just fucking break and that's how cheap the handle is but the blade is pretty good it actually is a little sharp so I'm surprised that it came sharpened so I'm gonna show you guys a comparison of the two knives this one and the first one and it has a few differences but not many not many not many Uh, the first one is a lot smaller and the, obviously the other one is bigger but the thing is this thing is actually made the handle is very solid it doesn't feel like you could break it that's uh, the metal was actually pretty good on this handle and unfortunately this thing is not sharpened when I got it, it was not sharpened so this thing is good in the handle is a plus because it's not gonna break very easily and for 25 cents it's not that bad but again the locking mechanism is horrible it's so hard to close and open and that's a major major flaw and if you just want to dish out a knife really fast then this is not something you want to get now on the other side and this thing like I said before the handle sucks the handle is just fucking bullshit I don't know what they were thinking but the knife and the locking and open mechanism is very smooth don't have to really force yourself and it's it's very smooth so that's the only thing that's good and it was actually sharpened when I got it alright but like I said the only thing that pissed me off is that this one came in a little box which is very nice of them but still there was no company nothing no information whatsoever it just said stainless steel knife on it nothing besides that and this thing came in a crappy foil I mean, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? A foil? Come on. If you want to sell something like this, then you need to at least, you know, present it in a box, a nice box. Then that will catch the customer's eye. But besides that, I have nothing else to say about these things. These things are very cheap and very poorly made and can be found in, in my country anywhere anywhere a lot of people sell these things for very cheap for one coin in my country and in America it will be around 25 cents and I'll explain that another time 
but yes indeed these things are that cheap because people sell things for one coin in my country and there's a lot a lot of cheap things at that store and I'm gonna be reviewing a lot of it in the future within the next two days maybe on Sunday and look forward to it and I hope you guys enjoyed the review yeah that didn't work out but I hope you guys enjoyed you guys have a nice day and my overall thoughts if you guys want to get something like this just stay away from it and but if you're like a collector then I guess you could get it I'm a collector kind of I'm getting been getting into it recently so I've been getting these things for cheap so I'm collecting these things just for future reference but if you guys want to get a good knife then just invest get like 40 bucks maybe I don't know how much a good knife would cost. You gotta, you gotta ask somebody else. I'm not a real specialist or anything. But yeah, if you want to get a good knife, then just you gotta spend a little money. These things, if you want to get it for 25 cents, it's it's cheap. If you want to get it, you can get it, but you're not gonna get much use out of this thing. So once again, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned I will be reviewing a lot more of this shit well not knives but if you guys like knives then yes I will be getting more if I see any trust me I will grab it so if you guys will chill out I will get it and look forward to the next video I don't know I'm not gonna tell you guys what item it will be that's gonna be a surprise but I've stacked up a lot of these items so I'm gonna review them within the next one of them if in the next few days and so on and so on. But look forward to it and it should the next video should be up on Sunday and if not maybe late Monday. So look forward to it and subscribe.